Uh, every week at Top Story Weekly, we have a special guest. Uh, this week is no different. Uh, he starts his Northwest tour on the 4th. He was one of Crave's top 10 comedians to watch. Give it up for Ed Greer! <laughs> I'm sure they stole that song from a black person. <laughs> Quite sure. No, I'm just joking. But not really. Um, hey guys, how's it going? I love all this political humor. Give it up for watching political humor. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan. I don't do too much of it. Um, it's weird because you know you get you get lumped in with a bunch of like uh, I don't know. I get lumped in with all black issues or whatever you know, and it just. I, I hate Republicans for my own reasons. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate Republicans for all their social stuff. I don't care that they're down with guns and war. I'm from Missouri. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care that they want to keep all their money to themselves. I do too. That's great. But they're so ridiculously intolerant that it makes me sick. You know what I mean? They're, and they're hypocritical in their intolerance. That's the thing. Be intolerant all day as long as you're consistent. You know? Like, I saw this thing, a Republican legislator in Florida got busted in a public restroom trying to suck a six foot eight black dude's dick. <laughs> now the twist is the six foot eight black dude was an undercover cop. <laughs> you six foot eight and black and the best assignment they got for you? <laughs> Stand in a public restroom like some kind of penis fly trap? <laughs> It's just so weird, you know what I mean? Like, how do they train you for the gays in denial patrol? You know? Just catch a six foot eight dude coming out of the police academy ceremony. Oh, come here. What's your name, Mustafa? You got a lot of natural talent. Right. Now what you gotta do when you get out of the field, what you gotta do is look tough, but inviting. <laughs> like, it's some special training, it's so weird. You know, and like, uh, I remember, um, I like Barack, but also for my own reasons. He's like an exceptional person. Yes, he's more moderate than we thought he was gonna be. Yes, we're in more wars than it seems like ever. But you know, like he, he can't fix it all by himself. And this, 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 I was at my day job when I used to have one. Um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, but I'm in the break room and I'm watching Barack get coronated or win the election, whatever it's like. <laughs> So I'm watching Barack, and this lady who hadn't said, this white lady, like 80 years old, she didn't say anything to me for 18 months before. But when Barack wins and she sees me in the break room, she comes over and she puts her little paw on my arm. And she goes, congratulations. <laughs> Just real shitty like that, congratulations. And they, like, she expected black people to take the rest of life off. You know, like, we were going to be in the streets the next day when a giant soul train line talked about, we going to rock down to Election Avenue and build a black empire. White men say, oh, no. You know, I just, that's not what happens. You know what I mean? And I just, I just feel like, uh, I got fired from that job. <laughs> I got fired, and they disrespect you so thoroughly when you get fired. They had a woman trail me out to make sure I didn't steal anything. I looked her dead in her face with as much dignity as I could muster, and I said, bitch, I've been stealing. You need a time machine to stop me from stealing. I can Probably be reading a stapler or something, you know? Or some post it notes. I used to steal paper clips to clean up my weed pipes. Anybody? <laughs> We're all progressives in here. We're all kind. Of... Look, me! That's me! And I never noticed that before. That's awesome. I, you know what I think? I think, I think weed is good. <laughs> Overall. But I think it, it does enhance your personality. So if you're a loser, you will be a super loser. <laughs> It'll be your excuse for being a loser. Me, I get real political when I smoke weed. Like, like I watched the movie Hancock on weed. That's one of the most racist movies I've ever seen in my life. If you don't know the movie, Will Smith plays a superhero. And it's arguably the most powerful superhero I've ever seen on screen. He's basically powerful as Superman. He stops trains, he you know flies, invulnerable. And this motherfucker's homeless? 
<laughs> the most powerful black person ever is homeless. He was a super alcoholic, and his greatest weakness was literally a white woman. <laughs> literally. Watch the movie. You'll see that I'm correct. And there's a bunch of others that I'm smoking weed, and I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm thinking real hard. I'm like, you know what? This movie's even more racist than I thought before. Because think about it. Every time Hancock lands, he tears the street up, <laughs> thus lowering the property values everywhere he goes. <laughs> This is crazy shit, dog. And I spoke some more, and I, and I watched it, and I was like, I started putting stuff together. They revealed that Hancock had been super in 1920. There was a super Negro in 1920, and we didn't get to vote until the 60s? Where were you at, Hancock? Where were you? The Civil Rights Movement could have been an afternoon. You asshole, you're worse than the pro athletes. <laughs> I hate pro athletes, dude, for real. I mean, it's not just my zoftic figure. Uh, <laughs> I think they're jerks. You know what I'm saying? I think they don't have no social responsibility, especially as far as image, because, you know, I get high and look for messages. And uh, I saw one, check this message out. I saw it was about a basketball, and the basketball was chilling out on the street court, and rain started dropping on the basketball, and the basketball grew, and it split, and Kevin Garnett, of the Boston Celtics and the Minnesota Timberwolves, lanky black ass, came out of a goddamn basketball. And he was glistening from head to toe with this slime. Now, I've always wondered what black people's affinity for basketball was, and Madison Avenue has told me. Obviously, they think basketballs are Negro eggs. <laughs> they think you can just plant a roll of basketball and have an all-star team come summer. Just keep the Kobe's away from the shacks. <laughs> I, I also want to say, really and truly, I'm, I'm, I, don't have, I have a girlfriend now, so I don't have to date, but ladies who are dating guys, if you date a fat one, do not assume that he's strong. What are you doing? What are you doing? I was in downtown LA, and I'm trying to be a nice gentleman, and this chick wants me to walk her home. You know downtown LA. It's like Mad Max with less rules. You know what I mean? I'm walking past doo-wop groups and trash can fires, and, and you know, we're walking, and it's taking a little bit long for her. She goes, this is taking too long. We should cut up that way. And that way was a dark-ass alley. It looked like the place Batman's parents got shot. And she wants me to walk up in this death. And, you know, so, and she goes, what are you worried about? I'm not worried, I got you. <laughs> Bitch, I'm fat, not invincible. <laughs> Last I checked, diabetes don't stop knives. Like what, like, what is your problem, you weirdo? I don't know, it's just, I, I, watch, I, I watch a lot of TV, I guess, but I, I, do, I do try to get out in the world, and I do try to talk to people. It's really painful. <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, I talked to this guy. He was. Uh, I talked to this guy. We're we're just at the smoothie shop, and he starts. He sees me, and he goes, "Hey, brother. <laughs> you seem like a nice, intelligent guy. I heard you talk to that guy over there. Uh, what do you think about this cop situation?" And I'm like, "Oh well, seems like they're murdering a lot of black people." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh." And I always get that. I get the, I thought you were one of the good ones look. <laughs> like a lot. You know what I mean? I thought you were one of the good ones. I thought you'd agree with my retardation. You know what I mean? I get that a lot. So um, I go, you know what, dude? Like, I just read a story on the internet. It ain't even related to this Ferguson and Baltimore and this and that. A dude in, like, Kentucky somewhere got shot by the cops 51 times at a routine traffic stop. Turns out he was unarmed. Cops are scary. If I was getting attacked by a werewolf and I saw a cop coming, I'd be like, now we both in trouble, werewolf. <laughs> Let's go. You can hide behind some shit. You get arrested with a werewolf doing cornrows on his back hair. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I'm <laughs>